Oh. That's good enough. Were you uh were you surprised when you heard our last team 30-27? Yes. Very. <laughs> I think everyone was. Very. Um hey. Former champ, so it is what it is. We got the dub, so I can't complain. Did that worry you though? Like it did. I yeah, dude. I, I was like, man, I've been on the bad end of some decisions since I got in the UFC, and I was like, man, here we go again. And um, I felt like, you know, I did enough to get the win. I wish I could have put him away. Um, he's tough, dude. I hit him with a couple shots. I usually hit people with, and they don't, you know, take them very well. And he he took them, and he kept coming forward. So I was like, all right, you're in a, you're in a false crap. You know, you got to buckle down, bite down your mouthpiece if you have to. And we're gonna chuck him. You know what I mean? So we got the win, man. I mean, that's all that matters, man. I'm excited. Biggest one of my career, man, for sure. Like, uh, like I told Andre after the fight, I was like, dude, it was an honor. You know what I mean? Like, I used to literally watch him fight before I started fighting. You know, I got started pretty late fighting, so I was watching him ordering his pay per views. Like, there's no way in hell I'd fight that dude. And, you know, there I am in the cage with him. You know, it was kind of surreal, but then I had to snap out of it. You know what I mean? My coach is always like, man, we respect him outside of the cage, but when we get in there, man, he's got to, he's got to go just like everybody else. So. Um, I want somebody in the top 15, uh, you know, if not top 10, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting better, man. Like, I feel like the sky's the limit for me in 2019. You know, I made a gym change. I got new people around me in my life and I'm the happiest I've ever been since I've been in the UFC. So I feel like everything is about to start clicking for me. Um, so whatever the UFC has for me, whatever they offer, I'm, I'm willing to take it. I mean, I think you guys know that I'm, I'm down to fight anybody. Hell, I fought Fabricio on 10 minutes notice. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's whatever with me. You know, whoever want to get it, they can come get it. We'll be ready. Where are you training? I'm uh, at Spartan Fitness in Birmingham, Alabama now with Eric Anders. Okay. Um, so, yeah, um, that's right. I mean, it's five minutes away from my house. So, yeah. you know, um, I've known Coach Chris, shit, since I started. Oh, sorry. Since I started fighting, um, he's always believed in me. And uh, it just took me getting some things in order and making the transition over there. And it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I feel like I'm a complete fighter now. As you see, I got a takedown. I don't think Andre was, he even told me, he's like, yo, we didn't expect that. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of why we did it. Um, you know, so I think the other elements of my game are going to start showing the more and more you guys see me. Um, and I'm excited, man. I can't wait. Any names that you're thinking about? Uh, man, I, I asked Justin Willis if he wanted to fight. Um, he, he said he, you know, he had something else he was trying to do. So I respect that, you know. Um, but like I said, whoever they, they offer me, man, we'll be 110% ready to go. Oh, for sure. For sure. Um, like I said, it was an honor to fight him, but I felt like I could beat him with the right preparation. You know what I mean? I trained literally three months for a striker. I didn't wrestle once that whole camp. So I feel like with the right preparation, I can beat Fabricio. I mean, that's just the, how much I believe in myself and, you know, what I'm capable of. Um, of course, I want that win back. I don't know what his situation is with his suspension and all those different things like that, but um, it'd be an honor to get in there with him again, for sure. Just the fact that, you know, he is suspended because of, you know, that stuff, does, it, does that make you want to fight him even more? To show it, like yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, anytime I lose somebody, I feel like, you know, especially if it's a close fight or, you know, it's a decision that didn't go my way, I want that fight back. Um, with him, he's a former world champion, and I feel like I can hang with him. I really do. Um, you know, with the, like I said, right preparation, I'll be ready to take that fight on. Um, so we'll see what happens. If you look at your division, on I mean, Eric, he's talking about fighting Brock Lesnar and mm -hmm. things like that. I mean, do you think that's appropriate when there are so many top contenders lined up? <laughs> Honestly, yes, um, because Daniel's paid his dues. Um, you know, the guy deserves a big payday. So if Brock is that big payday, for sure, you know, um, I'll be patient and wait my time. And I love DC, man. You know, he's a good dude. Um, so, you know, I want all the best for him, man. I think he said he's got one more fight or something. So why not make it a big money fight and let him go out on a high note? Um, I think it, he deserves it for sure. Did the event changing miss anything up for you with family, friends, and fellow yeah, room? Well, for family, yeah, it did. I got family back in Vegas right now watching the fights. Um, thank, thankful to the UFC for throwing them a private little, you know, party and, you know, something for them to, to, to tune in. Um, but for me, yeah, they did for my well for mine. I don't know how many others they did it for, but I probably won't say. But uh, <laughs> but uh, whoops, sorry, Amber. Um, but uh, 
yeah, they did something for them. And, um, you know, it was it was tough for me for, because I really wanted them to be able to come see me fight. My cousin's first time in Vegas, he was super excited. Um, he couldn't make it, you know, out here, so he had to watch at the party. You know, and we just kind of rolled with the punches. Uh, my coach told me, he's like, look, man, it is what it is, bro. Like, we are ready, so we can fight at Home Depot. We don't care, you know, just tell them to set the cage up and we go get it. So it didn't really mess me up as far as my normal game plan, my strategy. I don't cut weight, thank God. So it didn't really, you know, make anything tough on me, man. We just kind of chilled. He took me all kind of five-star restaurants. And, you know, I lived like a king, you know, so it was good, man. Where'd you go? What five-star restaurants? Oh, man, we went to, what is it, Hugo, uh, Hugo's. We went to freaking Joe, Joe Stone Crab. I mean, this dude just went crazy, man. Like, he had me eating all kind of good cuisine, man, <laughs> feeling great. So. Yeah, man, we had a good time and we made the most of it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.